So it actually looks like Hot Toys is about to finally complete a full line. Fair enough, let's take a look. Hi everyone, welcome to 1-6 Figure Focus and in this short video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys Wrecker. So this is the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Wrecker that was uh, released or announced, should I say, it's not released but it's announced today on the Hot Toys official Instagram and Facebook page. So this particular 1-6 scale figure, it's a pre-order product, it's $290 and it's due to ship sometime between April 2024 and September 2024. So sometime between April and September of next year. This is one of five characters from the animated Star Wars uh, Disney show called Bad batch full disclosure i love troopers i'm a trooper collector so this is tempting but i've never watched the bad batch and now i'm a bit scared to watch the bad batch in case i get drawn into this um so i have no um i i really don't know uh, if it's a good show or if it's a bad show uh, maybe let me know when you're cutting if it's worth watching in the comment section down below i don't know but I do know Troopers, and these look cool. They're very, like, I like Troopers anyway. I'm a sucker for those Troopers. But these particular type of kind of, like, um, it's kind of grayish-black designs with the uh, the kind of the red uh, little bits and colors inside it. I really like the design them, and, you know, they're weathered as well. So this particular figure, Wrecker, um, just first initial thoughts are that it kind of looks like it's, it's a big enough uh, figure and it kind of looks like something maybe the heavy Mandalorian or Paz Vizsla as he's now known body. So pre-order product, $290. Uh, sometime it's going to be released sometime between April and uh, September of next year. Right, let's take a flick through some of these. Like I said, I am a trooper collector, but I don't need every single trooper under the sun. I won't ever collect any of the sequels. I've ruled out uh, prequels, although I'm really tempted with that clone pilot. And I do have Cody, but Cody was a gift. So there's so many good troopers out there from the likes of the animation, the animated series like The Bad Batch and The Clone Wars. I'm really glad I don't particularly collect um, animation. So you might be thinking, does this guy collect at all? Um, I like troopers from the original trilogy troopers from rogue one and troopers from the mandalorian i kind of like the the kind of the live action troopers from uh those kind of ips but i gotta say like this this looks it just, just looks really really good this one maybe not my favorite out of the five to be clear so i think they've actually released again correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below they've announced crosshair they have today announced wrecker as seen here they also announced tech and I do believe that um, the other two is Echo has been released, and I'm forgetting one. I think Hunter has been released as well. I think I've got that right. As far as I know, uh, Echo and Hunter release Crosshair has been announced, and today we've got a, a double drop there, Wrecker, and the other guy, Tech. So, like this, this is probably the weakest out of the five for me. As it's just purely aesthetic, like I said, I haven't seen the show, and I'm kind of a bit like it doesn't really make a difference because I know I'm not going to collect them. However, I've liked all the ones I've seen so far, whether the announcements or the, the in-hand uh, particular videos and images. This would be the weakest one, personally. Okay, I know maybe, I'm not sure how people feel. I do like this sculpt, though. And it's unique. They've done that thing again. When they release Clone Wars, they kind of go for this hybrid. It's not fully animated like Sideshow did or attempts to do. But it's it's not kind of fully lifelike. They're, they definitely lean more towards the lifelike look. This is supposed to look like Tamora Morrison, and I'm not sure if if this is accurate or not because I haven't seen the show, so I can't really comment. Although I do think it looks pretty cool. I really like the kind of um, the kind of is it, is it kind of a dead eye he has here in his left eye and the scarring and everything like that. I think the sculpt is pretty cool. I'm not sure it's entirely accurate, but then again, like you could argue that these sculpts aren't accurate because they're not you know they didn't go animated on them but then again i i, I think the sculpts still look pretty cool um yeah again i like the, the kind of dead eyes got here going on on the left and then all this kind of scarring or whatever is going on here as well so together they look great they do look great so I just want to make sure to even get this out. So Wrecker's the big guy. I'm, assume, I'm assuming it's a heavy Mandalorian Paz Vizsla body or something similar like that. Clearly bigger than the rest of them. So he's the muscle of the group, I'm assuming. We have Tech here on the right. He must be the Donatello or the, the brains of the group. Uh, Crosshair is here. We have the sniper. And then I think Echo is in the second one here. And I believe that's Hunter here, number three. Again, if I'm wrong about that, please feel free to correct me. I like the way Tech is a different color as well. I think that adds a bit more, 
just add something a bit more when there's one of them that kind of stands out like that. I actually really like the design of, of Tech or Tick, Tick, Tick. I think there's some sort of a South African uh, accent and I think they call them Tick. So just flicking through some of this, it's not one that's going to be for me. Uh, I'm happy for the people out there who are collecting this line and it, I mean it would suck if they released three out of the five or four out of the five but at least the people are out there can commit to the line and get all five and it'll be the first season because this could go on for this is on a second season at the moment this could go on for ages and you wouldn't know what type of armors I believe in the second season they already have different armors or something like that yeah so tech crosshair wrecker uh, I always get confused between these other two. I'm guessing Echo is the second one, and then the furthest one on the left, would that be Hunter? Okay, I think I've got that right. Yeah, so look, this one, it's not for me. I do actually think the head sculpt's pretty cool. I'm not sure is it actually accurate to the show because I haven't watched it. It's a big, kind of a beefy figure, kind of like the Heavy Mando. The armor looks cool. Probably the weakest out of the five that I've seen so far. Anyway, that's just my opinion. If you want to support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and if you want, you can also follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. That's it, that's the end of the video. See you in the next one. Good luck.